They're only a handful, but determined to make a point. These members of Afri Forum Youth believe that statues like the one of Jan van Riebeek is part of Afrikaner heritage and must be protected. And it's determined to get its countrywide campaign noticed. We as Afri Forum Youth feel that um, the entire heritage and uh, specifically Afrikaner heritage should be remembered. And we do believe in mutual re uh, respect um, of all cultures within South Africa. And we are against this vandalization of uh, statues. Afri Forum Youth's personal message on a number of statues in the mother city received mixed reaction from the public. At Parliament, they were greeted by the Louis Bota statue that was tarnished overnight with red and blue paint. Freedom Front Plus MP Corne Mulder criticised President Jacob Zuma and the Western Cape government for their absence during the uproar. We've got a, a president that is missing in action. Uh, where is the leadership? I cannot think for one second that our leader, President Mandela, would have done it in the same way. He would have given guidance and leadership within a minute and brought calm to South Africa. And Cape Townians also had their say. I would say these things had actually to be kept so that our children can learn from it. You can't have a future without the past. So as you can see nowadays, the youth, they, don't, they can't even remember the struggle we, that we went through in the past. So to have the, the, like the small child children have the history of South Africa, we need some of their statutes here. The people of today can't blame the people of today for what happened all those years ago with slavery because they're blaming the people of who the statues are. No one from the Minister's Office or the Portfolio Committee on Arts and Culture was available at Parliament to receive AFRI Forum's memorandum today. The group has given Parliament three weeks to respond to its demands. Percival Young, Cape Town.